fishing boats, the arches and nine pins. We've saved the best for last as we explore the Hong Kong Geopark right here on Drone and Phone. Well, it's the last episode in our series. We have a very special episode today. Jack, what are we doing? Yes, today we got to, to go to four islands out around Sakong area, very far away, but we got a fishing boat from a friend to go there, taking us throughout the whole day. You can also rent a boat from Sakong and other place, but we're lucky with a fishing boat. Yeah, you need a boat to get out to these places. It's gonna be a fantastic day. We're gonna to get to the places where you don't normally get to see. No ferries out there, so hopefully it'll be quite quiet as well. Let's get going. Can I wait? The Hong Kong UNESCO Global Geopark is a treasure trove of unique geological heritage and biodiversity spanning an impressive 100 square kilometres. Situated in the eastern part of Hong Kong, this is a must visit for outdoor enthusiasts living in Hong Kong. To make things easier, we've broken it down into five one-day trips to make sure you get to see the best of the amazing geological landscapes. In the last episode, we were exploring some of the islands in the geopark which are not accessible by ferry. You can find special tours that will take you to these islands or, as we did, find your own boat to get there. We start by leaving Aberdeen and heading out past Cape Diagia and round the islands directly south of Paklap 1. Well, as you can see here, we are in the heart of the islands here where the geopark is brilliant. It's most stunning. It's just fantastic formations all the way around. Lots of small islands, some sea arches, lots of these hexagonal columns. Really quite spectacular. So we're just doing the strait between uh, Town Island here and Wang Chao here. We're going to go around, there's a nice arch on the other side and then we're going to head back up over on the other side to Basso Island where the real star, the gem of this journey is going to be before we head out over to the Nine Pins. The sea arches at Wang Chao and Basalt Island are majestic sculptures. On Wang Chao, the arch is a surreal curve of granite that you can swim or paddle through if the conditions are right. On Basalt Island, the arch, chiselled from volcanic basalt, is an imposing monument to the island's fiery geological past. If you have time, there is plenty more to see on Bluff and Town Island, as well as the many other small rocky outcrops in this area. Now I've seen these, we've seen these in other drone phone episodes when we've been out on kayaks, this is the first time in a boat. But the Nine Pins is something we've not been able to reach yet. From the fishing boat we launch a small motorboat to get to the shore as it is where we are keen to see the rocks first hand. I'm filming the fishing boat behind me. Are you filming like that? Yeah. I'm filming too? Huh? Really impressive. Uh. A little bit slippy, a bit fun as well. So how's it been for you, Jack? This is looking a uh, very dirty beach, but some absolutely spectacular views. The contrast couldn't be more striking, really. But um, I'm going to get back on the fishing boat, see if we can, can get some lunch. The water is so much better, but the garbage is another story. I hope we don't see that, but so far so good. The Nine Ping Group, or Kuo Chao Islands, is an archipelago composed of 29 islands, islets and rocky outcrops. It's named after the most prominent cluster of the islands here, which seemingly resemble nine pins in a bowling alley when viewed from afar. This collection of islands is renowned for its exceptional geological features, soaring columnar jointed volcanic rocks, rugged cliffs and dramatic sea caves and arches. So we finally arrived at the Nine Pins and we're just taking a speedboat over so we can get out uh, right over there. This will be my first time on the Nine Pins. Are you excited, Jack? No stamping, we're coming, we're coming. Now look at this, this is the, the big granite hexagons right there. Hexagon. Hexagon. Yes. 
should be a sea arch down here, I think. Big what? That one. Yeah. Oh, this one? Yeah. I wonder why they call it that. This is something truly amazing. Of the 29 islands in the group, we only have time to choose two to explore. It takes time to get on and off the island, so if you get a boat out, be sure to do your research in advance. To explore the large cavernous sea cave on North Ninepin, I decide to jump in and swim through the cave up to the opening. It's a majestic experience to look up at nature's cathedral. Okay, we're off to the last of our stops today. We're on the Nine Pins. This is the South Island. And we have this incredible arch in front of us that we're going to go and explore. Okay, wow. Look at this. This is uh, the last island of today. The rock formation here it looks like on the moon. Well, that's it for this week, Jack. Quite spectacular, eh? Very nice with the four islands. A must go for me. It is fantastic. Now, if you're finding this for the first time, you're going to find all of our other episodes nicely catalogued on droneandphone.com and also on our website, which is droneandphone.com, also on our YouTube channel. I said that last time. <laughs> Just search drone and phone. For now, my name's DJ. I'm Jack. And this is Drone, drone and Phone. One thing I've learned over the years is never trust Jack when he says he'll supply the lunch. Always bring extra, just in case, because as proved today, he was wrong again.